lot of decisions to make during an election year on everything from president to local offices. But should you also get to elect judges? Well, one state lawmaker thinks so and has filed a bill to make that happen. Robert Kittle tells us the debate is over how to prevent corruption. South Carolina's new state Supreme Court Chief Justice Costa Placonis was sworn in Thursday. State lawmakers elected him to the position as they do all judges. But State Representative Chris Corley wants to change that. I feel like the system's fundamentally corrupt. He's pre-filed a bill in the House that would have the public elect judges. He says a big problem now is lawmakers who are also attorneys, and they appear before the judges they elect. And when they walk into a courtroom, if side A does not have a legislator and side B does have a legislator as their attorney, side B's attorney decides if the judge has his job or not. South Carolina and Virginia are the only states where lawmakers elect judges. 21 states, including North Carolina and Georgia, have elections. But most states, 27, have the governor appoint judges. House Democratic and Republican leaders Todd Rutherford and Bruce Bannister are both attorneys who will fight Corley's bill. It's one of the worst ideas I've ever heard. If you look around the country at ju judicial corruption, you'll notice that a lot of that has to do with the fact that judges are out there begging for money to run for office, uh, looking for law firms and lawyers that can fund their campaigns and then turn around and doing them special favors. If, as a candidate for a judgeship, you have to go out and raise money. And the only people to raise money from in those cases are lawyers, which creates lawyers supporting the judges who they then appear in front of, which is a very dangerous place to be. He says the current system isn't perfect, but it's better than public election of judges. In Columbia, Robert Kittle, 7 News. Now, trying to get politics out of the process as much as possible is why a majority of states have gone to having governors appoint judges from a list of candidates screened by a nominating commission. 